mass standard is talking about. Let's now turn to Plateau State, where the government has handed back to their regional owners 32 missionary schools which were taken over and have been under the control of the state government for decades. The state governor, Simon Lalong, spoke at this year's Plateau Forgiveness and Reconciliation Day celebration, which also coincided with the 47th anniversary of the state. TVC News, Funam Joshua has more. Dignitaries within and outside Plato State seated at the Rampound Township Stadium in Joss to witness and be part of this year's Plato Forgiveness and Reconciliation Day celebration. The day is set aside by the state government to celebrate the return of peace to Plato following years of ethno religious crisis which bedeviled the state in the past. This year's event also coincided with the 47th anniversary of the state establishment in February 1976. Several dignitaries were in attendance, including the Sultan of Sokoto, Sa'ad Abu Bakr, the Archbishop of Abuja Diocese, Ignatius Kaigama, and some of the past military and civilian administrators that once governed the state. They spoke on the journey and achievements recorded in the state. Let's forgive. Forgiveness is very important. If you don't have a forgive or forgiving heart, you can never be a good man. But you are always negative. And any negative person can never be a good leader. I thank God that um, this is happening. And as His Eminence, the Sultan, has said, we hope that this will continue. I commend His Excellency, the Governor, for initiating this and all those who have worked for peace in Plateau State. While delivering his speech, the state governor Simon Lalong announced that his administration has decided to hand over 32 schools established by voluntary organizations back to their rightful owners. From the testimonies of the communities that we have had in recent times and even today, I am happy that the concept of forgiveness and reconciliation day is yielding tangible, tangible results that are changing the narratives in our state and serving as examples for others to emulate. Some residents who graced the occasion commended the state government for the peace building efforts in the state. It's an opportunity for us to come back as a state to be so united and that to live in a harmonious working relationship. Highlights of the event include the official unveiling of the Plato State Anthem, logo and symbol. Funom Joshua, TVC News, Joss.